Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to talk about and I'm talking about 3.3 obviously. I did make a video previously with the whole 3.3 expectations. I would just say it was kind of blown out of the water. I'm very impressed. There's a lot of stuff I didn't expect and some stuff, well, it was very much expected. But what I do like is that we are getting an Archon Quest. And this Archon Quest is going to feature Scaramouche, the Tore, and some other characters. And it's going to be amazing. And we're going to get a whole insight on the whole Scaramouche, Wanderer, Nahida. It, it's all coming together in 3.3. And I'm very excited about it. Having Scaramouche sort of hate the Tore. I really like that. I like that a lot. That's his whole turning point or whatever according to the trailer. I am so excited. The Wanderer looks amazing. He has these cool wind slashes. I'm assuming that's his normal attack. And then when he uses elemental skill, he flies. He flies. And then his elemental burst, of course, he steps on everyone with his, you know, foot. With his sandal, apparently. But nonetheless looks absolutely fantastic i i couldn't be more tantalized by scaramouche honestly he is awesome and the fact that you can use an elemental skill to pretty much fly is awesome and also kind of weird at the same time you have a different stamina bar which is super unique and interesting what's the point you know if you have scaramouche you don't even need to get all the, you know, Geoculus and Animoculus. Let's use Scaramouche. Boom. Easy. Actually, I don't know how that's exactly how it works. But anyways, super awesome to see Farazan as well. Farazan is an animal support character. And something that I really liked seeing was her and Xiao together. That would be fantastic. It would be phenomenal. I want to see how strong Xiao is going to get with Faruzan in the team. He's going to be crazy. He's going to deal 100k easy with each strike. Imagine. That would be absolutely awesome if we can actually get there. In fact, most unexpected thing is actually a new set could actually benefit Xiao a lot. Well, in hindsight, it kind of makes sense. Scaramouche, animal, normal attacks. Makes a lot of sense. But in the actual artifacts, it is mentioned that plunging damage is increased. And we like plunging damage increase. And then there are the other artifact sets. And to be honest, I'm not really that excited about the other one. Even though it could really be better. I'm just super excited for this animal one. There is so much potential to be had here. And... I cannot wait to waste some more resin. And Chow just needs every artifact set ever to exist. And it's kind of difficult. And then we've got other events stuff. Brick Breaker, which is really weird to see, to be honest. And we've also got Wind Trace, which is, a, you know, a fan favorite. A lot of people like that. And we've got the dungeon thing. But yeah, probably one of the most exciting things is the new ECG game mode extravaganza thing. In Genshin, obviously they had to mention, of course there are no rewards and no leaderboards or whatever. And it's all strictly for fun. But we all know what we're gonna do with this. We are going to battle every single person that we can possibly think of. And we're going to make a game out of it. Not to mention, it is going to be available for all. We could probably battle anyone from across, you know, all platforms, whatever it was. Same as how you can, you know, co-op with anyone. So I'm very excited to see what content creators do with this. Because there's so much potential. There's, you know, you can make tournaments and just battle it out. If you have an argument, you can duke it out in some TCG. It just gives some sort of replayability to the game. Obviously, the game is everything to do with replayability, right? They want you to keep spending the resin, the daily commissions, whatever. The thing is with this, you can play it at all times. You can just keep going. And that is one of the things that, you know, Genshin struggles with. And a lot of people want from Genshin, you know, the end game, right? TCG isn't end game, but it will give you that sense 
of you can keep on going and you can keep winning or something like that even though there are no leaderboards so technically you would just stop after winning with one person or something like that that was fun it's a start okay it is a start maybe in the future you would have in real life events with the tcg game maybe they actually come out with a tcg real life game you know with actual cars that'll be sick and there are, there's a lot of hope for this game so hopefully it ends up going in the right direction now there are so many things to be excited about artifact sets Farzan, the wanderer there's just a lot going on here um Archon quest let's not forget to be honest i'm really excited 3.3 is shaping up to be an actually good patch we've got the whole return to inazuma thing which i i expected that as much but it is kind of a good thing as well the thing is is that because we're returning to inazuma there are characters that are going to be rerun that i didn't expect arataki ito is going to be making a return obviously we've seen him in the banner thing with the wanderer but didn't see kamisato ayato as well as the raiden shogun to come along at the same time for phase two of the limited event wish two really hard hitters are together at the same time uh, i was talking about um kamisato ayato not having a rerun in the tartaglia video i think i made i'm not sure if i released it or not but he hasn't had a rerun in a really long time and now i see why it wanted to put him right alongside the raiden shogun so when the raiden shogun comes along people are gonna be enticed to summon for the raiden shogun and then miss out on ayato again and then they're like oh i want to get ayato it is just a good opportunity for everyone to get either of those characters and 100 percent i really like them both they're both so good raiden being an arcana obviously ayato Fantastic character. I really went all out on Ayat on my free to play. I'm kind of biased for both. Oh, so, yeah. They just dropped a lot in this live stream thing. And also at the same time, not too much. They, they did show a lot of the, you know, the story quest stuff. And they showed us, you know, some events and stuff like that. But that is pretty much it. So, you see in the new character, Moose is just the, the Wanderer. Absolutely insane. The elemental burst, you just step on people. Hello? the cold normal attacks flying thing going on it's crazy he's definitely going to be crowned for sure whatever account he's on he's going to be crowned he's going to be such a fun character to play i am ecstatic definitely 100 percent going all out there's so much for you guys to look forward to going into genshin impact 3.3 definitely thank you guys should stick around but yeah that is going to be pretty much it hopefully you guys got something out of this. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing. Are you summoning on Raiden, Aito, or are you going to go for the Wanderer? Which most of you guys, I'm assuming, probably will. Are you going to go for Ito? I don't think anyone is going for Ito, if I had to be honest. Geo, not haven't really been relevant at all in the past, I don't know how many months. So that is unfortunate for Geo, but a dubski for the Wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just genuinely excited so much stuff going to be happening in 3.3 it's gonna keep me a little bit busy and on my toes and i like that let me know what you guys are going to be doing in the comments like this video if you liked it subscribe to the channel thank you for so much support on the past few videos that is that's honestly been keep you know just keeping me going honestly i am very excited i'm really happy to be making videos so yeah, if you got one. If you guys want more, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell. I will see you guys all in the next video very soon. Bye bye.